Hey guys, so now is the February 18th and uh, this is my update on basically general things and what was happening in my life uh, past uh, whatever days. So it's what we call Riečka Spitza. This is, uh, you know, basically uh, 4 p.m. movement uh, in a downtown and uh, I hope that uh, we managed to filter out people who are asking questions do we have cars do we have electricity one because uh, yeah that basic level I can't really cover on a uh, YouTube so I'm gonna tell you a few things I noticed and I'm sure you noticed the same things uh, in your own countries so this is Rijeka Croatia update first things first we noticed all uh, way too many antisocial behavior on our streets, uh, as we say, Ljudi Pucaju, people are breaking on the breaking point due to the unemployment for certain class of people, poverty, uh, different kinds of restrictions, and etc. etc. So there is a way, way too many of that antisocial behavior which basically escalated in one incident um, which happened earlier this month when one street musician, very talented apparently, attacked a lady, his girlfriend, and he brutalized her to the point that he smashed her head on the floor and basically brains out teeth everywhere. And then he, I shit you not guys, uh, and then he started to walk naked, uh, naked. And I'll, I'll, I think I'll try to link. It's a little bit complicated to edit uh, when there is no Wi-Fi around. And these updates are of course, uh, a little bit on expensive side for me because uploads are expensive. So that actually happened and what I experienced when I was uh, volunteering in Caritas and I'm gonna continue doing that, a guy came, a homeless guy, he was attacked brutally, beaten by some punks, uh, his little money was taken and his phone and he basically came with uh, with his uh, you know clothes on his back and and that was basically it. So, more and more these things are happening, and I also noticed in the evening uh, immigrant youth uh, in gangs uh, also running. And uh, well, one gang is running, another gang is running after them. I've seen that. So, I guess they have some uh, issues. So, this is also happening in the evening here. Of course, uh, now is really perfectly, as we say, normal Niger. As you can see, uh, civilized white people walking up and down. And I'm very happy that I can uh, share this uh, with you. So this is another thing. A third thing, what, what many of us experienced is um, extreme discrimination when it comes to the uh, uh, employment. So basically all offices, all office spaces are occupied 80-90% by women. And then those men I find are in 50-50% either openly gay uh, seems like that heterosexual women uh, only feel uh, comfortable with a gay man. And if you see heterosexual man, he is super protected. He is somebody's son. Meaning you can't really, you know, brutalize him in an easy mobbing way. So this is another thing, which leads me to my problem, that we are now in Croatia where Germans were in the 1990s, when she calls the cops, regardless the reason, you're fucked. So, that kind of power game is happening in the human society and I noticed another thing which is also recent that it's uh, that women uh, actually tend to bump into you on a street so I like to stop wait you know, for them to pass or I just say openly left or right to move and because like you know they really st started to take more and more space which was of course an uh, issue uh, Mark Pazio was talking about that five years ago in Seattle in that area and now it's actually here because we are as you can see part of the global culture and whatever hits America which is like a top of the you know programming mind control pyramid it will continue rolling down even to the quote to quote Eastern Europe although technically this is Central Europe I am located 200 kilometers more or less than Vienna and uh, but anyway so that's another thing. Also I noticed another thing, big division between vaccinated and unvaccinated people. 
Um, typically, people are vaccinated for the jobs, but then you have those who are really zealots when it comes to that. And uh, my ex, she's like really into that. She she actually vaccinated her kids as well. And uh, you know, like like big thing into that. You know, what I mean, like big thing. Uh, speaking about kids, um, yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna continue talking. So this is uh, this is another big issue. And um, what else to say? Apart from all that, I mean, it's it's really nice. The weather is nice. Um, people are nice. Uh, everything is perfect. However, things are a little bit dodgy under the surface. Under the surface, what you start to notice is. Uh, visibly more and more fear in the population especially in the old population in the baby booming uh, population these guys uh, these guys are really frightened with the well, we, you don't see them this is not this is not where they congregate you're gonna see them in a, in the supermarkets you're gonna see them in the doctor's offices you're gonna see them in the government institutions and of course Tržnica or market green market in the morning. I mean, these guys are like openly bragging. Yeah, some seven three point champ, you know. I've been vaccinated already three times, you know, stuff like that. And looking, looking around to see if they're gonna get confirmation or something. So that's basically it. So what else? And I'm gonna use this opportunity. I was, I was planning to do a special video for that, but I'm gonna use this opportunity to thank all those people who helped me. And on the first place, I'm gonna put Caritas and Catholic Church. You guys understand that I'm not an idiot, that I know who's running the Catholic Church. Yes, the Lucifer, yes, the Illuminati, yes, the reptiles. However, it's pyramidal organization, guys. You understand me? It's pyramidal. So top is, of course, corrupted, and I, I suppose middle, but, uh, but the bottom of the organization is, uh, you know, people, empath people, good people are there and they're helping out people. And in Croatia, when you end up on a street, Nobody else will help you that I know, apart from your friends and Catholic Church. Love it or hate it, okay? Let's put bias aside. Trousers are trousers, socks are socks, beans are beans. You understand me? These are these are real things, and they they really also also you know like priests will do also money handouts after the after the Holy Mass. And, and stuff like that. So yeah, I have to say I'm I'm pretty pretty impressed by the. If you wish, if you wanna be cynical, PR. However, when you're on the receiving end, when you're somebody who couldn't afford yourself a trousers because you know you're overweight and you have to buy in Juro XXL shop and that's 550 kuna. That's basically almost hundred dollars for you. And last once I bought in 2019. So when somebody gives you, you know. Two or three pairs in excellent you do fucking appreciate it you do so first things first and then chronologically Nele thank you very much of course you're not watching this channel but your donation came first and then Denise and you two guys put me in this room I'm now and then Lily your generation uh, your donation from you and your mother that was also very generous that is basically you know filling up my grocery bags and um, after that, Florinda, my dear friend from childhood, thank you for a cup of coffee we had the other day, and I hope you're gonna have more, and thank you for your donation. Anita, also, my sympathy from the 1990s. Yes, I, I probably, you're not watching this, but you did help, and I do appreciate, especially your advices, how to cook inside the room, and how to optimize the costs. Anita gave me a great deal of, uh, of insight, how to, basically live the way I live because this is how she lived for her life. Now she's in Ireland and working there as a, as a room steward. That's what you get when you have master's degree from Croatia. And uh, so, Serge, thank you very much. You helped. I'm, I really would like to talk to you, man, if you're there. 
And um, of course, uh, John, your your donation was the was the most generous one. I hope that you are watching this channel, that you're watching this promenade right now. I am sorry that we didn't match, that you um, found me maybe under big quotes way too white trashish as you say cultural differences but I am uh, who I am and I'm a silly cat and as a silly cat I do silly things and that's my nature and being a child and more and more like child is uh, my nature because that's how the programming is working so um, thank you John you've been very generous and um, your help was uh, more than just financial, it was uh, definitely moral. However, I'm, I'm very sad to say that uh, our Normandy plan is not going to work. And uh, yeah, you did, you did bring in me high hopes. I, uh, but you know, hopes are uh, very, very dangerous when you're on the bottom or sort of. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's hard to explain right but without them you die right but uh, with them you suffer so it's like a falling in love and of course manuela you hate me and, and you love me and it goes both ways and you manage to push me through the system with your excellent devices how to do what because you are a person from the inside creation system so yeah you know that i will always fucking love you and you will always break my fucking balls with your bullshit but that's the way how it goes. I didn't choose to do love you. It just fucking happened in back in 1998. And if I could go back in time, I would definitely not have a summer affair with Janina Haze from Leipzig. But uh, she was willing and you were defensive back then. So fuck you. It was your call. Okay, sorry, it's our talk. So anyway. What else to say uh, in this update? And gusto uh, kita, mabuti pare. We have we have some very cool uh, workers from Philippines, and they are fucking awesome. I like these guys. And we have some other uh, which I don't like from Pakistan. These these people they have this uh, sharp uh, killing uh, looks because they're Paki Muslims and. Um, Filipinos are of course Roman Catholics as us and Roman Catholicism is making people far more normal than Islam in my opinion so that being said and uh, no no I'm not crossing to the Roman Catholic side although I will visit the Holy Roman uh, Holy uh, Mass on Sunday because I was invited by the person who helped me and uh, a loyal cat as loyal cat I am I do feel obligated that's the way how it goes guys so now when I continue my monologue what else to tell you <laughs> have no fucking idea guys you know if you if you like this kind of updates uh, please let me know it's very easy for me to edit them I just press play and stop and uh, please comment and subscribe or don't uh, and if, if I somehow forget to mention you, please uh, be, be nasty and be rude. And yeah, I mean, definitely uh, all, all of you guys who gave me like a great moral support when I, was, uh, when I was fucking choking in that fucking basement, the purgatory number two and three, you've been there. You did help. You did send me good energy. Uh, James uh, Pollack from Detroit, please stop spamming my channel. I'm not gonna block you because I respect you as a TI, but I mean your behavior with, and your general attitude is uh, simply not uh, something I can abide. So uh, my comments are toxic. When you're commenting something, leave it that bitch. And uh, oh my god, did I forget somebody else? Yes, I forgot my, actually my dearest friend from the LA, Marina. Marina Ruska Djevushka, thank you Marina, thank you for your donation again. How come did I manage to forget you? That's, that's the thing, uh, some people you take for granted, I think I took your friendship for granted, you've been a great friend the past five years. And, and Serge, if you're watching this, please, you know, don't be a stranger, Viber me, WhatsApp me. When I went away from Viber and WhatsApp and Facebook, I did it because I had a basically broken heart not because of you man 
you were simply not in that story. So don't take it personally, man. It absolutely had nothing to do with you. You've been really, really great friend when nobody was there. Uh, whole 2021, I was ba I was basically paying Dopunsko Zdravstveno Suguranje with your uh, donations, which is uh, medical insurance. So you meant a lot, man. You do. You still do. Especially somebody I could talk to. So I do miss those uh, conversations, man. And... Uh, And yeah, there are some uh, millennials behind me and they are noticing what I'm doing and um, that kind of creepy attitude uh, is uh, not really making me concentrated at the moment, so I, I, will, I will stop. Sensitive guy I am, I do feel uh, negative vibes. That's, that's the way how it is, guys. Take care. <laughs>